Hey everybody, I have to do this video really fast because I'm super busy and we have like a day left to get ready for Rockstock because we're leaving Thursday morning to pick up Cammy from the bus station and then going to Indiana to see Indiana Jones and then we're going the rest of the way on Friday. So, first off, you might notice that I'm wearing some cool stuff. This t-shirt, the graphic was designed by Chris. This little W, the famous W, was designed by Danny. But um, we screen printed like 11 of these um, on Sunday. And um, nine of them will be on sale at the uh, Rock Sock this weekend. They're actually light brown and dark brown, but this is the first one that we made so that I could test it um, on a shirt that I already had. But um, I'm also wearing this, which is a necklace that I made out of was Rockopedia guitar picks. The guitar picks will be for sale, and so will the necklaces. I've made 19 so far, and Here's 14. That'll be for sale. They're all a little bit different. Some of them have the same beads. Some of them have different beads. Some of them have very large beads. And I'm also making simpler ones that are less girly, if you feel appropriate saying that. I'm probably only going to have like 20, so if you want one, you're going to get there as soon as the merch room opens, but I'm selling the guitar picks regular too. Um, the rule addenda thread is going along quite nicely, thank you guys for um, responding to it. As it stands right now, the majority of us have decided to make the Fossum Fact optional. Um, if you're not agreeing with this plan, you have to vocalize it because pretty much everybody has not done a Fossum Fact <laughs> in a couple days. So, um, also, Danny has recently proposed that we eliminate points and the corresponding rules about points um, and essentially just do challenges posted by viewers and given to each other. Um, but Cammie thinks that our point system is original and she kind of wants to keep it. So, um, Leah and Amy, we kind of need your opinions on that. So, the link's over there again. In response to you guys' videos from this week, um, Leah, you have a great voice and I like your very musical blogs. Um, good job being Christina, <laughs> especially with the face touching. Um, Amy, hooray for vegetables. I like vegetables. I'll hug Jess for you this weekend, and I'm sorry for blankish charming you. I know the two did help try to initiate the proposal last time. Cammy, I like your hair, and try to get some sleep on the bus, because you have a really long journey ahead of you, and I'll see you on Thursday. And Danny, I'm working on my list of favorite Harry Potter slash Wizard Rock things. Um, I have a bunch of stuff. And some of the things that are like my favorite things I don't actually have with me because I left them um, in Texas. They're actually probably in Becca's trunk. So I'll get them this weekend. Um, just so everybody knows, because nobody was really sure, Chris's award was for the best full page ad um, in a West Virginia newspaper. She's a graphic designer, that's what she does. She designs advertisements. So that's pretty exciting, I think. It, it was an ad for guns. <laughs> Um, also, some things you might want to know. If you're a live journal user, you can become a, you can join Wiz Rocketeers community that was created by Zara. Thank you very much, Zara, for um, doing that. That's pretty awesome. I used to have a live journal, but now I don't have time to really vlog. But there's a link over there, and I'll add a link to the Facebook group um, at some point. Another cool thing you might want to check out is that uh, Lauren from the Moaning Myrtles has started um, 
sending us, or the Wiz Rockopedia, um, exclusive blog entries from her tour that she's on right now, the Accio Bodyguard Tour, with Lena from the Butterbeer Experience. So the first one is posted today, and I'll link you over there. I'm so tired. Okay. I have two challenges. I shouldn't use that since I started using it. I have a piece of paper in front of me already. It's my notes. Okay, Jen, I'm doing more of Jen Summers' challenges because they're creative and easy. So the first one is what kind of job after leaving Hogwarts do I think I would have? Um, I think that I would go into wizard fashion. Also, she suggests or she's challenged us to do some origami, so I'm gonna do that right now. My brother was actually obsessed with origami when we were little. And this might take me a little while because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. 